Hi everyone, hope you are doing well. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So in this video, this video is an introduction to software engineering and during the video we will see the meaning of software engineering and the reason behind the creation of this, of this term. So let's get started. So in the 60s, the early days of computer science uh, were known of software crisis. This crisis was characterized by uh, uh, the high cost of machine, the preliminary algorithmic languages, the difficulty to meet user requirements, the incapacity to produce a fast and an efficient software. So in this situation, the, the problem faced by uh, the engineer uh, was to how to develop a reliable and the cost effective software. So in 1963-1964, Margaret Hamilton an engineer at the MIT lab and responsible of the Apollo space project uh, came up with the term software engineering and told that the process of building software should also be considered as an engineering discipline. So now, if we have to, to define software engineering, first, we have to know that software engineering is not programming. Why I'm telling this? Because when seeing uh, job offers, when companies uh, uh, are looking uh, for a software engineer position, they are simply looking for a software developer, uh, developer or a software programmer. Uh, and that's not the case of software engineering. Software engineering is not programming. Software engineering is a systematic, a disciplined, a quantifiable approach to the development, operation, and maintenance of software and that's the application of engineering this definition is uh, is given by the IEEE organization another definition uh, of uh, software engineering according to Fritz Bauer uh, software engineering is the use of sound engineering principles to obtain economically software that is reliable and works on real machine efficiently so software engineering is simply a process which is commonly composed of five phases from requirement analysis phase up to software maintenance phase. So for the first phase, the requirement analysis phase, during this phase, the engineer is asked to communicate with, he, with his client in order to gather uh, in order to gather uh, requirement and understand precisely those requirements. Those requirements will serve uh, at the software design phase to uh, define the architecture, the components, the interfaces and other characteristics of a system. So during the, the third phase, the software uh, construction phase, the engineer is asked to detail the creation of uh, of working software through a combination of coding, verification, unit testing, integration testing, and debugging. So after uh, the implementation of his solution, uh, the engineer has to test uh, his solution. And uh, during this phase, uh, the software test phase, it involves dynamic verification of the behavior of a program against an expected behavior uh, uh, given by a finite set of test cases. And uh, after testing the solution, we have to maintain it uh, according to uh, the test result. Uh, the software maintenance phase it involves enhancing existing capabilities, adapting software to operate in a new and modified operating environments, and correcting defects. So now, if you want to know more about software engineering, if you want to, to, to learn more about uh, software engineering disciplines, I will put under this video uh, the link of this reference. The Sweet Book, the Sweet Book is an effort uh, by the International Council of Systems Engineering, the System Engineering Research Center, and the IEEE Computer Society. This effort, uh, it's a perfect mean to codify the best practices of software engineering, and it addresses, uh, uh, addresses many uh, software engineering disciplines, which I list here. So 
uh, that's it was for this video thank you a lot for watching and see you in the next video thank you